Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, Shoaib Ahmed Dayo is here with the lecture of the electrical engineering and today is the topic is that the uh, location of the reactors that the feeder reactors and the bus bar reactors. In our previous videos we have covered the short circuit current which are to be limited by the reactors. The reactors are uh, connected in series with the power system to limit the short circuit current and to limit the enormous current or the fault current which is to be occur due to the abnormal condition in the power system. So, in the previous lecture we have covered the generator reactors. So, that the, the generators which are connected with the particular reactors to limit the short circuit currents that in series with the particular machine if you are connecting the particular reactor with that machine. So, that will be called as the generator reactor though a machine can be like over here as the generator. Okay. So, now there is an another uh, type of the reactor which is called as the feeder reactor. Okay. Now, in this uh, diagram or in this system particular system when the reactors are connected in series with the each feeder. So, that will be called as the feeder reactor. So, now as you can see the diagram there are the three types of the generators that are supplying the electrical power to this bus bar and the particular feeders that are to be supplied by the each particular generator. For example, the G1 is supplied to that particular number feeder 1 and G2 is supplied to its particular feeder and G3 is supplied to the particular feeder. Now, according to the uh, name, the, the, this is the feeder reactor means the reactor which is connected in series with the uh, your particular feeder. So, that will be called as the feeder reactor. Okay, now, so since most of the short circuit has occur on the feeder because the load are connected uh, among the feed, uh, with the feeders. So, most of the short circuit or most of the fault in the power systems are to be uh, occur on the feeder side. So, a large number of the reactors are used for the such sector, such circuits means the most of the faults are occur on the feeder side. So, we need to protect or we need to limit the short circuit current uh, on the feeder side. So, we used to, we are using the reactors or we are connecting the reactors uh, which are connected in series with the particular feeder to limit the short circuit current or, or that the circuit breaker which are connected with the particular feeder can withstand uh, the amount of the short circuit current because additionally reactors are provide the reactance to that uh, particular feeder. So, let us dis uh, discuss the advantages of the feeder reactor. Firstly, if the fault is occur on any feeder the voltage drop in its reactor will not affect the bus bar voltage so that there is a little tendency for generator to lose synchronism. For example, if fault is occur on this reactor on this sorry particular feeder that this feeder is to be supplied by this G1 generator and the feeder for example, if the fault is occur on this feeder side okay, that feeder is connected with the G1 generator. So, now what happened the, this uh, your fault current will not affect this bus bar voltage why because if the fault is occur on this uh, particular feeder. Okay, so, the current which is the due to at the point of the fault the current is enormously high dangerously high because of the impedance of the particular feeder is very low and the voltage at the fault point is 0 this is because of the short circuit. So, phenomena of that short circuit. So, that will be the this fault current is to be limited by this particular own reactor, reactor of that feeder. So, that your current is to be localized or uh, faulty current is to be localized or to be uh, limited by this reactor and bus bar voltage will not be affected because due to the faulty current or the short circuit current because this is the advantage of this particular uh, feeder reactor. And also if there is an bus bar voltage is not affected. So, generator G1, G2 and the G3 which are supplied to that bus bar. So, will not lose the synchronism because the synchronization is the process of uh, 
connecting the parallel uh, number of the parallel generators are to be connected with this bus bar so that their voltage is to be the same, their frequency is to be the same and their uh, phase sequences to be the same. So, if since if our, uh, your, our bus bar voltage is not affected because the, our uh, reactor uh, which is uh, you are connected in series with this particular feeder, if the short circuit current is limited by this your uh, reactor, so if the bus bar voltage is not affected, so G1 and G2 and G3 generators are supplying the voltage to this bus bar will not be affected and generator will not lose their synchronism. Okay. Second is that fault on a feeder will not affect other feeder and consequently effects of the faults are localized means there are the number of the uh, feeders that are connected with the generators. So, each feeder carry uh, connected by its own reactor which is in connected in series. So, if the fault is occur on the any feeder, so another feeder cannot be uh, disturbed or uh, any uh, uh, there will be no any effect on the feed uh, other feeder because the faults are to be localized are to be withstand the short circuit current which are to be produced due to the fault. Uh, that are to be localized or limited by its particular reactor. Okay. Now, let us discuss the disadvantage of the feeder reactor. So, there is a constant power loss and voltage drop in the reactors during the normal operating condition obviously, because reactors are the leakage reactances. So, during the normal operating uh, conditions of any feeder, so the volt drop or the power loss across the feeders will be we can say uh, your we can uh, uh, observe during the normal operating condition. Second is that if the short circuit is occur at the bus bars, if the short circuit is occur at the bus bars. So, no protection is provided to the generator. So, there is a little importance that because such faults are rare and modern generators has a considerable leakage reactants to enable them to withstand the short circuit current. So, if there is a fault is occur on the bus bar, okay. so at the uh, uh, point of the fault, okay, the voltage is low and if the voltage is low, the generators which are connected in parallel uh, with across the bus bars, so their terminal voltage is to be affected and may be the synchronization process may be disturbed or generator may lose the synchronism because of the fault is to be uh, occur on the bus bar. So, until it uh, can be uh, you are tripped by the circuit breakers. Okay. So, this was the feeder reactors so that uh, we have discussed its advantages and the disadvantage. Now, let us discuss the bus bar reactors. So, bus bar reactors means the reactors which are connected in series with the bus bar. So, this is the like the ring system uh, of that bus bar. So, that in this system the bus bar is divided into the two section and that sections are connected with the reactor. For example, this is the section 1 and this is the section 2 and section 1 is connected uh, reactor is connected in series with the G2 and the generator 1 and the section 2 in the section 2 the gen, uh, your reactor is connected in series with the G2 and the G3 machine. Okay. Generally, one feeder is fed from the one generator only. For example, if this is the feeder number 1, this is the feeder number 2 and this is the feeder number 3. So, each and every feeder is to be uh, uh, the power is to be supplied by its particular own generator. For example, this feeder 1 the power is to be supplied from its own generator G1 and feeder number 2 power is to be supplied from the generator number 2. Okay. Under the normal operating conditions, each generator will supply its own section of the load and very little power will be fed by the generator. So, means under the normal operating condition, each generator is supplying its own uh, power and other generator power will be less because of the presence of the reactors because reactor uh, during the uh, react when the reactor is connected in series between any section. So, that other generator will supply the less amount of the voltage because or the current because the there is a continuous power loss and the your 
power loss or the volt drops can be occur on the reactor side. So, each generator, each feeder is to be supplied by its own generator okay, and uh, uh, there will be a little power will be fed by the other generator because due to the presence of the reactors. Okay. Now, this results in low power loss and voltage drops in the reactor. So, the voltage drop in the power loss in the uh, feeders uh, is very less because each generator is supply, each, uh, each feeder is to be supplied by its own generator. Now, advantages of this system bus bar reactor is that if the fault is occur on the feeder, only one generator to which the particular feeder is connected mainly feeds the fault current while current feed from other generator is small due to the presence of the reactors. For example, if the fault is occur on this feeder number 1, okay, now this only G1 generator which supply or fed the power to that particular feeder number 1 is affected, but the other generator will be, for example, G2 generator will be uh, very, uh, very a little amount of the fault current or may not be affected uh, because of the presence of the reactor and the current faulty current cannot be travel or cannot be moved uh, towards the other generators because of the presence of the reactors. So, this is the main advantages of the your uh, feeder, uh, uh, your bus bar reactor is that if the fault is occur on the particular feeder. Okay, only only that generator which supply the electrical power to that particular feeder, okay, mainly feeds the fault current. While current from the other generator will be considered to be as the small uh, due to the presence of the reactors. So other generators may not be affected because the reactance is connected in series between that particular sections. Okay, now therefore only that section of the bus bar is affected which the feeder is connected and other section being able to continue its operation. For example, if the fault is occur for example on this uh, feeder, so this G1 uh, particular generator number 1 is affected and other generators are G1, G2 and the G3 are continued to its uh, running its normal operating conditions because of the presence of the reactors that reactors is to provide the uh, additional reactances to limit that short circuit current which is to be uh, occurred on that G1 side. So, this is the only that portion of the G1 which be affected because the short circuit is occur on the feeder number 1 which is connected with the G1 side and other will continue or remain continued in their normal operating conditions. Oh, okay. <coughs> now, we are going to discuss the tie bar system. Okay. For the future expansion in the electrical power system, whether the number of the uh, con generators are connected in a parallel with the system, we are using the tie bar system. So, in the tie bar system, okay, this is the another uh, type of the bus bar reactors. So, in the tie bar because we are need, we are going to need an additional tie bar okay, in which the number of the reactors are connected in series with the generators. For example, in the tie bar that figure shows the tie bar, this is the bus bar okay, and the, uh, there are the two sections of that your uh, uh, each generator, one is that the reactor is connected with the tie bar and second is the supply. Uh, electrical power to that particular feeder. Okay, now, comparing the ring system the, with the bus bar, the tie bar system, it is clear that tie bar system, there are effectively two reactors are connected in between the two sections. For example, if this is the section number 1 okay, and this is the section number 2, you can see that there are the two reactors are connected in uh, series with that uh, by a particular section and additionally here the R3 is also connected in series. Okay. So, now what is the advantages of this uh, uh, tie bar system? We can connect the number of the alternator with the uh, your system so that uh, it may be uh, used for the future expansion. Okay. Now, for example, if the fault is occur on this feeder G2. Okay, when this one is the feeder number 2, this is 1 and this is the 3. Okay. 
So now if this uh, uh, on the feeder number 2 if the fault is occur now G2 is directly supplying ok. Now here the reactance from the R3 is connected in series uh, with the uh, R2 ok and now here again R2 is connected in series uh, R1 is connected in series with the R2. So that amount of the fault current is independent on the number of the generator which are connected with the power system ok. So advantage of that additional generator may be connected in the system without requiring any changes in the existing reactor. So the disadvantage of this system is that we require an additional tie bar ok. So we require an additional tie bar where the number of the reactors are connected in series and the generator are connected ok. So this was the uh, Fader reactors and the bus bar reactors which we have discussed its uh, advantages and the disadvantages and I hope that you have enjoyed the today's lecture and at the last please uh, subscribe my YouTube channel Shoebe Madayo for more informative videos related to the electrical engineering areas. Thank you.